to Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman and Sean. Today, what we're gonna show you is a way to diagnose a head gasket problem or you might have a cracked head. Sean was getting a rough start in the morning. It would eventually throw a general misfire code, a P0300. So it wasn't letting him know which cylinder it was, it's just a general misfire. And then after the engine would run for a while, it would smooth out and run pretty good. When you get a rough start in the morning in conjunction with a misfire, that's usually indicative that over time with the engine sitting stagnant, coolant is leaking into one of the cylinders. And then when you finally start it up, it runs rough for a while because it's burning off that coolant that's been trapped inside the cylinder. And then once all the coolant burns off, then it starts running fine. Another sign that you have a head gasket or cracked head problem is you would see that your engine is eating coolant. You're losing coolant, but you don't have any obvious leak. So when you're losing coolant and you can't find a leak, that means your engine is most likely consuming it. Through the tests that we're gonna show you, we're gonna clearly be able to demonstrate that the coolant is leaking into the number three cylinder. The tools we're gonna to use for this is we're gonna use a cooling system pressure tester and we're gonna use a leak down tester. We've got the pressure tester for the cooling system hooked up to the radiator and it's under pressure right now. And we have the leak down tester hooked up to the number three cylinder. What we did initially is we started with a compression check and the numbers were fairly good. Then we started doing a leak down test of the cylinders, starting at the number one cylinder on the passenger side. And we learned on that cylinder, we're getting 11% loss. That's not great, but it's not horrible. Then we moved to the number three cylinder and we were getting a 42% loss. That's huge. And so we are trying to figure out where are we losing that pressure? Is it getting past bad piston rings? Is it getting past a bad valve or valve seat? Is it getting past a crack in the head? Or is it getting past a part of the head gasket that's failed and it's going somewhere into a coolant jacket, into an oil gallery, or maybe to a neighboring cylinder. So when we pressurize that cylinder, what's interesting is we could really hear the air escaping to the neighboring cylinder, the number one cylinder. We put a spark plug back into the spark plug hole and all of a sudden the noise got quieter. So we're thinking like, well, is it getting past a bad head gasket in between the two cylinders? Where is it going? So now what we're gonna show you is what we just discovered, we believe that it's getting into a coolant jacket, either via a bad head gasket or it's getting through a crack in the head itself. So now let's go to the engine and we're gonna show you what we just learned. For the purposes of this video, we're not gonna go through all the steps of how to use a leak down tester because we already have a video in existence for that. If you click on the link above, you can see us go through the whole process of how you would set up each cylinder to be ready to pressurize it to then be able to figure out the percentage loss in that cylinder. So check out that video if you need some instruction on how to set it up. This is the Matco cooling system pressure tester that I bought used on eBay. It's a nice one. The factory service manual instructs when you're doing a cooling system pressure test to pressurize the system to 17.1 PSI. So on this Matco gauge, this black area right here, that's a range between 17 and 19. So I have it at the beginning of the black range, which would be right around 17. And when we pressurized this and watched it for a while, we noticed that the pressure would slightly drop over time, letting us know that there is a loss of pressure in the cooling system. This is a closed system. So if it's not holding pressure, it's gotta be going somewhere, either through a leaking hose, maybe a bad heater core, it's going somewhere. So we believe it's going somewhere out of the number three cylinder, either through a crack in the head or through a bad head gasket. So the reason why we're using the coolant system pressure tester is it's a tool 
to let us know if there is either a problem with the head gasket or a crack in the head and the pressure in the cylinder, when we use the leak down tester, when we pressurize that cylinder, and if we start to see the needle rise on this Matco cooling system pressure gauge, that lets us know that the pressure that we're losing in that cylinder, it's going into the cooling system. If that needle starts to rise when we pressure the cylinder, that's a dead giveaway that that's where we're losing the pressure. It's getting into the cooling system and we have to investigate further by pulling the head and seeing what it is, either a bad head gasket or there's a crack in the head. Now let's show you the setup over here. This is my OTC cylinder leakage tester. I have it hooked up to a 21 gallon Harbor Freight air compressor that I just bought. I'm gonna pressurize the cylinder with 100 PSI. So this gauge is the intake side, so this is the air pressure coming in, and this is a side that's connected to the cylinder. So this air hose is screwed into the number three cylinder via the spark plug threads. You're gonna see a massive loss. So I'm gonna pressurize the cylinder now. So you can see the massive loss that we have. We have 100 PSI coming in and it's only at 54. So that's a 46% loss of pressure, which is massive. When you have a good cylinder, it shouldn't be any more than like about 5%, but 10% is okay. But this is a massive amount. This is a 46% loss. That is no bueno. And that needle on this cooling system pressure tester is rising. So we know that we're losing cylinder pressure into the cooling system. That's a dead giveaway. It's reaching like 19, it's getting towards 20. I don't want it to go that high, so I'm gonna let pressure off. So check this out. I took all the pressure off the system and you could just see that needle climbing and climbing and climbing. The cylinder pressure is leaking into a coolant jacket and we know for sure that that head's gotta come off and we've got some work to do. And it's still climbing. I haven't inputted any pressure via this plunger. It's all coming from the cylinder number three that's pressurizing the cooling system right now. Right now we have a borescope camera inserted into the number three cylinder. And we wanted to show you that Coolant is clearly getting into the combustion chamber. On the right side of the borescope screen, you can clearly see some coolant there. We're gonna shake the vehicle and you can see the coolant moving on top of the piston. You can see that liquid is moving right there. So it's clear as day that the cylinder is compromised. So since we determined there is a major issue with Sean's engine, what this means for you, the viewer, is at the minimum, we're gonna be pulling the passenger side head off this engine and showing you all the steps of how to do that in a future video. Whether or not Sean chooses to go ahead and remove the driver's side head and put a brand new head on that side, who knows? But we're gonna see what the problem is first, whether the head is cracked on the passenger side or it's just a bad head gasket and if it's just a bad head gasket then Sean has to make a decision does he just want to replace the head gasket or go ahead and throw a new head on there and then since we're throwing a new head on the passenger side why not do the same on the driver side and just put two brand new heads on this thing so we will be getting back to you with that decision but Look forward to a very instructive video on how to pull ahead off of the Toyota 3.4 liter V6 5VZ-FE engine. Stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and also click on that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when we put up new content on our channel. Peace out. Happy wrenching. Sick mods. Bye-bye.